So this video is about integration by substitution. Now this is something that students have a lot of trouble with. Uh, so you really want to sort of wrap your head around the intuition for how it all works. So this video isn't a bunch of worked examples. The next video is going to be heaps of worked examples on this. This one is about showing you how it works and why it works. So to do that, we need to step back a step and do a derivative first. So here's a function, y equals 2x squared plus 1, all to the power of 5. Now you should recognize this, that if you wanted to find the derivative of this, you would have to use the chain rule. You would need to let this equal u and then work from there. So if we let u equal 2x squared plus 1, that means that y is now u to the power of 5 and u is now 2x squared plus 1. We can now use the chain rule like this, uh, dy dx equals dy du times du dx, put the derivative here, so 5u to the 4, multiply it by the derivative of that, 4x, and we can smoosh those together and put 2x squared plus 1 back in for u. And what we're left with is the derivative of what we started with. So y equals 2x squared plus 1 to the 5, then derivative of y with respect to x equals this thing here. Now, we're doing integration, which is the reverse of the derivative. So if we were to find the integral of that, we know that we're going to end up back here somehow. And that's what integration by substitution is going to allow us to do. Kind of reverse the chain. So here I am, I'm finding the integral of that, and I know that I'm going to end up back here eventually. Now, what did I do when I was doing the derivative? Well, I let that equal that. So let's do that again. All right, so far so good. Now, this is a little bit different to this, but there's some similarities. Now, what I'm going to do next is just find the derivative of that. Now, once I have that, I'm going to do something that you haven't really seen before. I'm going to rearrange this derivative to be in the form du 4x equals dx. Now, you might be thinking, but what? Why? Why are we doing that? Well, it allows us to do something just really, really cool. We can rewrite this original in a slightly different way. That 20x, I'm going to keep it how it is. Now, this 2x squared plus 1, let's make that u now. So that's u to the 4. So 20x, u to the 4. And then this with respect to x, we can replace it with du over 4x. Now, what does that allow me to do? Well, I've got an x here and an x here. They can cancel out. I've got a 20 here and a 4 here. Uh, 20 divided by 4 is 5. So what I'm left with is the integral of 5. Uh, the x isn't there anymore. The integral of 5 u to the 4 with respect to u. Now, this is some kind, sometimes called the change of variable rule. And you can see that we've turned this into an integral with respect to u instead of an integral with respect to x. All right, what can I do from here? Well, that's simple. I can integrate that really, really easily, right? Uh, I increase the power by 1. Uh, I divide by the new power. So 5 divided by 5 is just 1. Um, and I think that's it. All right, so we have the integral of 5u to the 4 with respect to u is u to the 5. Don't forget a little plus c here. And then, what was u originally? u was 2x squared plus 1. And so we can put that 2x squared plus 1 back in for u. Uh, let's take a look at what happened. I showed you here that if I use the derivative, I can use the chain rule to get to here. Here, what I've shown you is that I can start at the integral and I can use a similar kind of sorts of steps here to get back to here, the integral of that. Now, this is a, an example, right? This is an example that shows you that we can find the derivative of something and then we can reverse it by using integration by substitution. Let me formalize it here a little bit by telling you that dy dx using the chain rule is always dy du times du dx. Now this dy du, that's always like just some function of u. So I can write f of u. Now in this case, it was y equals u to the 5. That's a function of u. Uh, and then du dx. Now because derivatives and integrals are opposites, if we're saying that the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to this, then that means that y itself will be equal to the integral of this 
whole thing with respect to x. And then you can quickly see that this dx dx, they cancel each other out, and we have y is equal to the integral of some function of u with respect to u here. And that's what we've done right here. Now, if this has flown over your head, don't panic. Um, the vi next video straight after this one uh, is going to cover a bunch of worked examples, and there is a real flow to it. It starts to make a lot more sense once you're actually doing integration by substitution. So let this wash over you, take the notes, but don't panic, watch the next video, you'll be fine.